Hey folks and welcome back and in today's video we'll be looking into how you can deploy your application on a Kubernetes cluster using Scaffold. So we'll be building our image using the JIP plugin and then have a Helm chart to define how the application will be deployed and all of this we are going to do together in one single pipeline using Scaffold. So with this let's get started. Okay let's look at this particular simple project. Now I have this particular REST endpoint application in which I have a simple REST endpoint. Now what this REST endpoint does is it just returns me a static string. Now let's consider you have a full blown project wherein it provides a lot of functionality. But right now let's consider that we want to deploy this particular simple application which has this particular single endpoint. Now to build this particular application and create the docker images in my pom.xml file I have specified this JIP plugin. So this JIP plugin has this base image being given that is OpenJDK 17 and it will actually build a particular Docker image for this particular application. Now this is the building of the Docker images right. Now we need to actually deploy this particular Docker image. So for this we are going to use a Helm chart. Now I have created this Helm chart here which has only these two resources wherein we have this deployment resource in which we will be creating a Kubernetes deployment to deploy this particular application. Along with this, we have this service resource through which we can access all the ports behind this particular deployment. You can always create a new Helm chart from scratch by just using Helm create and the name of the chart. And this will actually create a full blown Helm chart for you containing all the resources like service accounts, ingress resource and many other resources. But for our application here, I have kept it a little bit simple, just kept only two resources that is a deployment and the service. So right now we have the project. We have a way to build that particular project and create a Docker image and also push it via the JIP plugin. And then we have the Helm chart to actually deploy this particular Docker image. Let's look once more again at the Helm chart. So in the Helm chart, I have specified in the value section, I'm specifying the image as scaffold JIP image. I can use this Helm chart to actually deploy it. But today's intention is to see how we can work with scaffold, right? So let's look at what I'm going to do is I'm going to run in my project I'm going to run the command scaffold in it. Now what this thing is going to do, this is actually going to scan all the files that it found in the current directory and give me some suggestions. First, what it detects is it knows that it has to build this particular image called a scaffold jib image. It found out this from the values file inside my Helm chart. Now here also, if you see, it also detected that there is a jib plugin present in this particular project here. So it's telling me this option that you have this JIP plugin. Do you want to build this particular project with the JIP plugin? I say yes. And then afterwards it creates this scaffold config file. And let's now look at the scaffold config file. This scaffold config file has two phases. It has a build phase and then it has a deploy phase. Now there are more phases like testing phase also with which you can introduce testing before we deploy that particular application onto our Kubernetes cluster. But for now, let's stick to only these two phases like building this particular image using the JIP plugin from this particular project and then after deploy it using the Helm chart and it already detected the Helm chart, it already detected the values file and the path to the Helm chart. So with this actually we now looked at how we can create a simple scaffold pipeline in which we have the build and the deploy. Let's look at how we can now build this particular image. So I'm going to write scaffold and I'm going to say build. This will actually now run this particular build phase and it's going to now build this particular image. Now since I already have this particular image being built, it says it found us and it's already present in the remote repository. Next, what we are going to do is let's actually try and deploy this. So we can say scaffold and we say deploy. And here I'm specifying the name of the tag. So this is the tag that we just built right now. And I'm going to say go ahead and deploy this. Now this will actually now connect to my Kubernetes cluster, which is currently available as a local Kubernetes cluster that I'm running right now on my machine. Now this is a K3S cluster that I'm running on my system. And now scaffold is right now deploying this particular image into this Kubernetes cluster. So as you can see, it has deployed the Helm chart and it's actually waiting for this deployment to stabilize. So it's actually waiting now for the container to be ready to actually serve the resources. So, so let's actually look at right now the Kubernetes resource that got created. So kubectl get all. So as you can see, the rest service was created and the deployment was also created. So we have this particular pod which has come up 
and it's in the running state right so now with this we actually deployed that particular application right now what we are going to do we don't have to actually run this phases one by one we can run the entire pipeline which will actually build a project from scratch and then afterwards deploy it onto the kubernetes cluster so for this i'm going to use the command scaffold run and i'm going to specify two more options that is port forward and tail so what this will do is first of all it will now generate that particular image using maven and then after that it's going to actually port forward this particular container that was deployed and then after tail on the logs itself so this is a very flexible feature that scaffold provides wherein you can actually do local development by having local changes being built automatically using this particular command and then afterwards deploy it onto a kubernetes cluster so now as you can see it has already built this particular docker image and it is now already deployed this using helm chart and it's now waiting for this particular deployment to stabilize once this has been stabilized you can see it is already printing us the logs from that particular container and it has also port forwarded that particular service so here you can see it is port forwarding this particular service so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and make a curl request so here we make a curl request and as you can see it says it all works fine we just saw how we can actually run the entire scaffold pipeline and then actually deploy this onto a kubernetes cluster with just one single command it also did the port forward and it also showed us the logs from that particular container now this is very good when you're trying to do this one off kind of a thing right let's look at the case wherein we want to actually do some active development so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop this for now and then i'm going to run the command scaffold dev and i'm going to specify the same two options that is port forward and dev now this will put scaffold into a dev mode what does this dev mode means this will actually right now deploy my current code into the kubernetes cluster and then afterwards wait for any kind of changes that's going to happen into my code so what i'm going to do now as an example i'm going to go back to this web controller and i'm going to update this particular string so i'm going to say yes it works and it is deployed to kubernetes i'm going to say save and now as you can see here it's actually already building that particular new change and then after that it's going to now start deploying this particular image onto the kubernetes cluster so this is how the dev mode of scaffold works it detects a particular change in your properties or in your class files and then after start building that particular project again and then start deploying it now if you see here it actually is deployed and it's waiting for it to be stabilized now it has port forwarded this particular service i'm going to copy this and and i'm going to run the curl command so if you see here it's now returning me the new string that was modified here so we saw how we can actually define a scaffold pipeline to build our application push the docker image to the repository and then afterwards deploy this onto a kubernetes cluster using helm chart now i keep on exploring such kind of things so make sure you subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up for more such videos to come till then take care and see you in my next one Thank you.